Um, you know, first of all, just thankful for the crowd and uh, be back in Bram. Um, Chicago State, very well coached. Uh, Coach Gillian and just his whole family. I don't know if y'all know, but he's, they're, they're a big time basketball family in Florida. When I was a high school coach, his brothers um, brought our team in for an event in Tallahassee. Uh, put on, I mean, just they just they have a great, had a great AAU program down there, and I knew they were going to be tough and successful. They actually have two guys who are ineligible or didn't get cleared. If they were playing, Coach Marco would have been fired. Um, for scheduling that game, like, but I mean, he's he's gonna do a great job there. So we knew it was gonna be a rock fight, and um, you know, just uh, it's it's been a. I'm proud of our non-conference to go ten and three, uh, not have two guys that you thought was gonna be contributors for you, and um, dudes just figuring out a way. So proud of Taj Manning, um, you know, the young fella. You know, it, part of what we do is. And the most of what I hope we do is just develop men and teach them how to be, you know, great, great people first and love their teammates and care about the team more than they care about themselves. And, you know, this week coming back, you know, Quez was practicing, you know, most of the time. And uh, so, you know, minutes in practice were cut down for some guys. And uh, Taj could have stood on the side and sulked. Instead, he sent a text message to Anthony Winchester, Coach Winchester, who ate up, who had the scout, and asked him if he could be on scout team. You know, and uh, and so you got a, a dude, scholarship guy, says, hey, I'm a volunteer to be on scout team to help my team in any way I can. And, uh, and so because of that, he was ready, right? He was ready for this. We needed energy, and I knew he would bring energy and Four minutes on the floor in the first half, it changed the energy. The stat sheet might have said one rebound, but just his four minutes out there changed it. And but he was ready. He didn't sulk. He didn't pout. He he just he just keeps working, man. And uh, I don't know what it's gonna look like moving forward for him, but I know that I, you can count on a guy like that, right? In the for the long run, you can count on a guy like that. And um, other three freshmen that played, I thought they they did a good job. And. Uh, we have to, you know, figure out how to develop some depth on our bench, and um, but just proud of the win because it's it's hard to win. It's supposed to be the night we saw Quez. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Can you walk us through that situation? Hey, you know, we uh, came back. He came back, and uh, man, we had a full team out there at practice, and it looked pretty good. You know, when we worked on some things that we can do with two veteran guards out there that you really can't do. Um, you know, when you don't have that, the, the guard depth and, uh, you know, look pretty good for like three, three and a half days. And then he had a, I don't know if it was a misstep, a bump, or whatever, but, um, you know, it was just one of them freak things. Uh, same knee, same, same issue. And, um, you know, so I hurt for him because he put in so much work in rehab and, you know, I, I, I do feel like um, I'm glad we took as long as we did to bring him back. Uh, he could have been back two weeks ago. Um, but had we rushed him and this happened, then we'd have been sitting around going, man, you know, we rushed him back, right? But we gave him every opportunity for that thing to fully heal. And um, for some reason it didn't or something else happened. And so now it's on to the next thing. What what? What's the next thing he has to do? What's the next thing we need to do? Um, you know, and as a staff, you know, when you spend four days coming back from Christmas doing certain things and then, you know, it goes on, then you have to, like, adjust, right? And the players have to adjust and their whole mindset, you know, our whole mindset, rotation, everything. So, you know, um, not an easy but really more hurt for him because you saw how hard he worked to get back and uh, then you saw how good he looked when he was out there on the floor together, him and TP, so, and Cam, and, you know, so, but, you know, that's just, just tough, tough break, and, uh, you know, just feel, just hurt for him. Could he still play this season, or is that now looking out? Nah, I, I don't, I, I don't know all the details yet, so we, we have this rule on our staff, like, no bad news on game day, so um, they haven't give they didn't give me the the whole thing, and I knew it was bad news because nobody would tell me what the MRI said. So just walking up here, I was told that you know it's possible surgery. It didn't give me the 
the whole detail of everything yet. So. Um, and just based on uh, more game day stuff, um, three pointers early in the season, you guys made were making a pretty good amount. Now you're kind of not. What's what's the issue there in your mind? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna uh, we're gonna go and look and figure it out. This is what I know. We got certain. Um, we have these drills that we run, and they have certain standards. And we have, like, I've had to increase the standard level. We have a, a minute and 30 uh, drill that we do. For a minute and 30 seconds, you got to make 90. You know, um, the number is 90, right? Full court, up and down, shooting threes. And uh, we've consistently blown 90 out. So I've raised it to 100. And we're hitting 100, you know, in, in, in Bram. We're shooting in Bram. So it's not like depth perception and stuff. And, and then, uh, I mean, it's our guys who can. I mean, one for four, one for four, one for four. You know, Wish Art would have shot that catch and shoot three in the corner after he just made one instead of the shot fake, one dribble step back. You know, maybe some of it would take in tougher shots than making them harder than they need to be or not being shot ready. But we're going to go break it all down, look at it, and figure out how to do it. I know we're a better t shooting team than we've shown, and we just, we as a staff have to figure out how to help them. We saw Taj obviously a little bit tonight, Coach, but just what do you feel like is his potential? And I, you know, um, you just never know, right? You just, you just never know how hard a kid is going to work and how much they're going to keep improving. Th this is what I know, that uh, I, I could count on him to bring energy and do the things that we needed tonight, and, uh, and I'm glad he proved me right. Yeah, it could be, could be 10 days off. But normally like when you take days off, then you have fresh legs and so you shoot the ball a little bit better. It could be a combination of that we worked on with a certain rotation for three and a half days, you know, leading up to this game. And then, you know, yesterday evening was like, oh, we got to change things. And then shoot around today, it was, you know, just run through a couple of things. So I, it could be that, could be, rust whatever but you know blessed we got the win very thankful God was good to us uh, guys made shots at the right time we, we did a good job defensively we limited them on the offensive boards and so was proud of those things and uh, looking forward to conference um, just with the guys that didn't play tonight RJ and Jarrell what might they need to do to to find more minutes and consistency as big 12 plays is here mm, mature they need to mature Thank you all very much.